Hello everyone, I'm Herod Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in our fight, our democratic fight against fascism. Really, just a couple of fascist countries in Europe. But right now, we are, well, our allies are trying to attack the fascists basically on all fronts. Not sure why, but uh, more power to them. If they win, they win. If not, Czechoslovakia, your manpower is not looking good. Guys, democracy, please. I know we're democracy, but don't kill off your own manpower. Romania, or, or Ma Romania has already done that, as you can see. And they are trying to demand Transnistria. Uh, I hope that doesn't happen. But basically, we're kind of at a standstill. What we need are these things called super heavy tanks. I don't mind trading a few more of these bad boys away so I can get some more tanks because good lord I need them I really need them oh I need so many oh did only one day go by are we at least producing we're at least producing this now not carriers which sucks but I need more super heavy tanks like that is king right now I need king tanks do that you know what do that I know it's not really ideal to do that but I need, I need tanks. And Turkey? Give me all the chromium you got, man. And I keep producing forts, because you never know what might happen. Um, so yeah, we're building a lot of infantry, which is good. We're building some of this. We're building some heavy tanks, but then we're going to have some super heavy tanks as well. Which will be glorious, glorious, glorious. Advanced fire bases, very nice. Let us now get to the last one in our land auction. Shock and awe. More soft attack, more hard attack. I love it, love it, love it. Alright, so these guys are good on infantry. You guys over here? <clears throat> I'd love to throw you over here, but I need a new kind of field marshal, just in case the Soviets get a little angry at us for some reason. <clears throat> Our border with the Soviets is not looking too good. I got a single division now on the border with them. Oh, man. Von Vikes, you're going to have to do that. Good luck, Von Vikes, defending against the entire Soviet or common turn force. I, for the love of God, Romania, please don't. Do not demand Transnistria. It is not worth it. It just is not worth it. Now, because we are using the communists on our side who have sent volunteers to attack enemies. Let the, let the communists kill their own men off. Do it. Do it. And we still get the glory. It's okay. I get it. No one likes fascists. Except fascists. And even the fascists don't like each other sometimes. That's okay. We can use that to our advantage. Please. It, it's it's basically just World War One again down here. Czechoslovakia, please. Your manpower. Your poor Czech boys. Do you not see what is happening to them? Now we got plenty of infantry equipment, which reminds me. You know what? I could probably pull off quite a bit here. That will be good. Two a week, almost three a week isn't bad. We're gonna produce more fighters, we're producing more tactical bombers, which will all be very, very important. We got a lot of motorized, holy cow. We need some more of this though, too. Get down to that. Good, good, good. Um Good, yeah, Soviets, yeah, keep doing it. Keep doing that. Yeah. That looks great, guys. Oh, Belgium. Belgium. What the hell are you doing? Sweet Belgium. Did you... No, it wasn't even Belgium. It was... Well, maybe Belgium, but the Dutch and the Romanians made a breakthrough in northern France. What timeline is this? What? Wait. Oh, look at Hungary. They're so close to capitulation. 97% of the way there. Japan is our ally trying to kill off the Pact of Rome because they want France's territories. Oh my goodness. What timeline is this? It's not a bad timeline. I'll let you know that for sure. Uh, you all. Uh, I don't want the four that are moving already. You guys just come down here. If we can expand into France quickly, that'd be great. I would love it. Uh, you guys are getting attacked. If you guys can keep taking territory, I will support you in defense. But uh, Romania, you better not. They're helping us. They're giving us land and territory. I know I will give you Transnistria if we're done here. I'm being very democratic. I love democracy. But you must play your cards right, as a famous 
boot rider once said. Oh. Oh my goodness. Please, 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 please. I'm glad we have Sweden down here, though. You know, they don't look very strong either. They got a lot of different division templates. That's pretty much to be expected, though. Um, are you guys going to guard your convoys? You're not going to guard your convoys. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. We're still mobilizing a little bit more manpower. Yeah, we are. Good. Um, how many more tanks we need? Oh, we got a pilot promoted. Very nice. 73 more super heavy tanks. Because once I get those tanks in the air, it should be good. It should be good cooking. Good cooking. Good going. Um, yeah, I don't have any more planes. Sorry. Uh, you guys, though. I need a field marshal. Von Klug, you're going to have to do the job for now. Yeah, don't attack just because you can. That's like saying you could, you should speak even though... That's like saying you should speak even though you have a mouth. Just because you have a mouth doesn't mean you need to speak. I can't speak tonight. I'm sorry, I'm recording this at night. Um, I guess I'm a little tired. Whatever. And if... Romania? Um, Romania? You've decided to reject our offer to join the Central European Alliance. And of course, Yugoslavia is also rejected. <clears throat> Romania. Romania. Guys. Guys. Come on. Uh, the Man Mannheim Project. With the heavy water plants in Norway now under our control, we can redouble our efforts in cracking the secrets of the atom, looking into weaponizing it against the Bolsheviks. Oh, yes, please. It's 1941. Good. Excavation. Yeah, you might as well. We barely excavate any chromium, but you might get a slight benefit out of it, maybe? Perhaps? I don't know. Um... 58. They're dug in pretty darn well. There's really no point to do that. So if you just annex Tanatuva, Romania. For the love of God, do not go to war with them. Just keep the war goal there. Because if you go to war, and I'm not called in yet, I am not helping you. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, wait. We're trying to make it more democratic, but they might end up having a civil war. I hope they don't have a civil war. We can't afford a civil war over there. Oh my god. A 210 millimeter artillery gun mounted on a super heavy tank chassis. This SB gun rivals some railway guns in power. You bet your tuckish it does. Uh, 1931? Oh, yes. I would like at least one of these. I would love to throw one of these bad boys um, in the battalion I'm going to make. Oh, they're attacking us just a little bit, which is fine with me. Good, guys, good. Yeah. Friedrich Schultz. I hope you got some stats. Austria. Okay, I just said your name, and now you're wounded. What the heck? Oh, are you winning over here? Because if you are, I'm totally going to help you. Oh. Well, you can't move. That's okay. Um, we did throw on... We ha we are using currently, what's it, eight infantry battalions and one artillery battalion in our infantry divisions. So we have a little bit of soft attack, but not much. You guys are still attacking. Oh, man, look at the Soviet divisions go. They're dying like crazy. I would love to see the oh, manpower lost by the Soviets so far. I think that would be very, very interesting to see. Oh, good job, guys. Good job. Uh, if no one's here, that's great. So, yes, I am. Yeah, non-aggression pack. Sounds good to me, man. Yeah, good. If anything, you should attack Rouen. Rouen here, guys. It's probably more important. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I feel safe owning a little bit of manpower. I feel a little safe that knowing that we have a single division um, garrisoned against the Soviets. Not really safe, but a little safe. Just a little bit. Oh my goodness. If I help you attack, will you win? You might. Le Havre. Le Havre. I don't speak French. I'm not even part French. Uh, but good luck. Get it. Grab it. Get it. Make it ours. If possible. Please, make it possible. No? Three. Two. We're losing. No thanks. I will only really help if it's green. Um, we're getting a... Oh, did we lose a tile? Oh, no. We actually took a tiny tile away from Austria, which is actually kind of nice. Good job, Czechoslovakian soldiers. Good job. You deserve a pat on the back. And of course, our Mountaineer divisions really are just light infantry with a crap ton of artillery on them, which is very, very nice. Ah, uh, beautiful. 
Look, you guys attack. I'll hold the line. Like, I think this is a good relationship that we have right now. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm throwing you over here. You need to come this direction. You need to help them out. Ah, adventurable processing. Very good. Sure, more excavation sounds good to me. Yeah, if anything, I will probably... Once I make a tank division, I will send them to France. Because we could probably shatter France first. Maybe? Uh, actually, I'll probably shatter Greater Hungary if we haven't done so already. And then I'll go probably smash Austria and then France. I want to leave Italy alone because I don't want to fight in mountains. And France has some territory that's plains. So that, that'll be good to do first. Um, we got a lot of propaganda efforts we could do. <clears throat> also, I do want to let you know. I'm not playing with Iron Man. I never play with Iron Man unless I'm doing an achievement run, which I don't have any at the moment at the time of this recording. But um, if I need to get Dutch, Belgian, French, Italian states, really the Dutch and Belgian states and controlling Luxembourg, I will have to use a mod that allows democracies to go to war. So it's a necessary evil to complete this campaign. Cool. I'll let you guys get centered and focused. And then I'm going to attack, uh, attack this way. They, oh, that's too many divisions to attack through. Uh, yeah, just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Play the shows. Shows. However you pronounce your name. I, I'm not German enough to do that. Uh, the UK exerts influence in Turkey. The Mediterranean has long been a region of great strategic value and the imperial influence of the UK. Now the British government is looking for further support from countries in the region. To that end, they appointed a special consul to the Turkish state. Well, okay then. I really wish... I didn't have allies that just kept burning their manpower. I mean, what are you doing? Playing as a troll war in an old world blues like how I do? Come on, man. And, oh, wait. I need to throw in some logistic companies on these bad boys. We have plenty of logistic companies for me to do this. Because supply is very garbo at the moment. And that didn't really hurt our stock stockpile of supplies whatsoever. Which is great, great, great. Belgium are looking kind of fierce. Not going to lie. Um, what are the losses? I mean, for us... We've only lost 57,000. We've lost 2 million of our allies. Czechoslovakia, what are you doing, man? Romania, guys, guys, you've lost more than the Soviets. I've only lost maybe less than 60,000. Yes, we've had some good gains. No, we haven't gone that far, but guys, Austria, you're out of manpower too. What the heck? Actually, that's a good thing. Uh, what's the manpower of the Soviet Union? I'm, I'm going to guess it's like 17 million. Less! Less than 17 million! Wow! They only have 13 dockyards, though. Uh, it's, it's just a standstill until I can get these stupid things out here. I got a lot of motorized. Holy cow. I probably don't, honestly don't need that many. And that'll help us with rubber a little bit, too. You guys are doing well. Tanks, come on out, please. There's nowhere good for me to help support an attack. Nowhere. Uh... If I were to help here, could we win, maybe? Could we maybe win? Please tell me so. No? What if I led the attack? Come on. Don't go, Don't... No. Nope. Nope. Even if I did anything, it, it still wouldn't do anything. Ski Jaeger? I love Ski Jaeger. I think that sounds like fun. Ski Jaeger. Um, yeah, you guys definitely throw some logistic companies on these bad boys. They need it. Good. Yeah, it's just a standstill, and that's okay. Um, what else? Anti-submarine. Naval AA. It's not bad. Armor Genius. We can get more attack and defense for super heavy tanks. Yes. Yes. Delightful. And we're still building up stuff in Prussia. Because I do not trust the Soviets. We are going to go to war with the Soviets someday. So that's good preparation. In the meantime, however... Get a, get at least another run of civilian factories going. Ooh. Ooh. At least we got some light cruisers. That's very nice. I'm surprised the French haven't started attacking us yet. Is it because my guys are still on the line? Good. Artillery is very good. You know what? Just go ahead and do the next artillery piece. We got time to burn. <clears throat> Nine divisions is too much for me to attack right now. Uh, are you are you okay, guys? Guys, oh, yeah, Soviets, yeah, come on, bring it down, bring it on, come on, kill them off. Oh, so these are the Soviet divisions. They're not looking super hot, except for some of the ones that are in reserve, really. Uh, ooh, the Mannheim project. 
good, glorious, and we're done with the right side of the focus tree. Wow. Really, Germany doesn't have a really big focus tree once you go down democracy path. Uh, if Greater Hungary is in a faction, I can puppet Romania now and get more factories. And I could get their oil, but that's not really necessary. Let's go ahead and do this. Germany is lacking in oil, so we must redouble our efforts in the field of synthetic oil. I love synthetic oil. Oh, I'm boosting ideal. Can I cause a civil war in Hungary? I might be able to stage a coup. <sighs> They're so close to capitulation. I don't know if that's really worth it right now, though. Guys, come on, Soviets. Get You have a lot of guys here. You can throw them in. Don't be pressured. Don't be ashamed. It's, it's okay. Um, there's just nowhere I can really attack. Planes. How are my planes looking? Alright, so we got a couple extra fighters. Not bad. However, I don't want to throw them into the fray until I have enough that I can beat the air superiority of France yet. I don't want to send them just to die. That's going to be one. Thank you. Thank you. Send you up here too. Thank you. And come right there. And you're deployed. Good. Screw it, I lied. Come on over here. If you can't help them out. I'm really surprised. They really haven't actually attacked yet. 1942. Get better research. They're still attacking me a little bit, which is kind of nice. These four divisions, though, they're going to get quite a bit of experience. Yeah, they, they like attacking me here. The only thing that's going to settle this are some big boys. Some big old boys. And these are tanks. I'm not even making any more heavy tanks anyways. I've got 85 in reserve. I better use them appropriately. And if I will use them, i got to use them... What is this? Are these planes? These are planes. I'm... Really, you shouldn't use only a single tank division. You should really probably use two at a time. And seeing as the infrastructure in Hungary isn't good, even though they're so close to capitulation, I'll probably send it to France. France is a little bit more spread out. Their divisions aren't nearly as strong, probably. Yeah, all they have is infantry and support companies, so that's not bad. I might be able to break their lines if I put a tank division, like, right here. I can spread out maybe a little bit more. Maybe I can come over here and actually push across the river first. That's a smart idea. Thanks for the recommendation, guys. Oh, do we have it? Do we have it? Yes! We do. Throw you down here. All right. Uh, where's Monstein? Level four. Oh, but you have another one. God dang. I'll use Heinz. Good. Panzer expert. Good, 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 good. And I want as much planning as possible, because these are only heavy tanks. Soft attack isn't bad. Breakthrough is delicious. It's over 373. Delicious. Armor is great. Piercing is great. Speed? For being heavy tanks. And I know the problem is strategic redeployments on. Six and a half? That still ain't bad. Uh, HP? Not great. Organization? Not great. That's okay. They're only 20 combat width. They're not 40 combat width. Yet. Oh, you're down here. Oh, it... I'm so ready for this. Oh, and by the way, uh... Oh, yeah, you only made one. Good, 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 Happy 1942, everyone. Hope you're ready for one heck of a year. This is going to be a weird, bad year, probably, for some of us. But for some of us, it'll be great. I want to deploy this plane first, before I attack with them. Good. Now, can I do some tank-on-tank -tank action? This is a test. Can we? They can't pierce us, but we can pierce them, which is good. We got some excavation, too. Nice. I want to see this. Um, engineer's not bad. Let's get some MP-34s. MP-43s, I mean. All right, so how's it going? We're not winning, of course. Typical. I need... Oh, we can't... We can't pierce them. Huh. The tank should be doing okay. I don't want to do force attack because that would just ruin whatever we have already. And it doesn't look like we can really win here. The infantry is just too weak. 
we're going to really need some super heavy tanks. Go ahead and stop the attack. I don't want to cause too many casualties. And they're just going to keep throwing boys in here. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Good. I don't want to cause too much of a supply loss for our heavy tanks currently. And it won't take that much longer for us to get <clears throat> our super heavy tanks. And it only costed us six heavy tanks. So that's not bad. And now you're attacking again. Again, really. After I did my own attack. Really. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Well, I guess I'll we'll have to wait for our super heavies. Ah, uh, and the guy was wounded again. All right, excavation three. Very nice. It's 1942. Get better. Oh, I need to research nuclear reactors. But if I can make nuclear bombs in Germany, that would be so amazing. Oh my god, guys, please, why are you killing off your own manpower? Why are you raising your own war score participation? I'm using player-led peace conferences. You'll probably get nothing out of this. Oh, but this is really nice. I like this. I'm very surprised France is not attacked yet. Come on, guys. Like, I know you don't like us. It doesn't seem like you have that much more manpower. You might have been making a lot of divisions, though. Oh, guys, you're breaking my heart. Don't you go breaking my heart, guys. Oh, the supply. This is why I don't send my tanks destruction, because the supply is just garbo. Hmm. I need that super heavy tank. Because if we have two tank divisions attacking that over here, I'm going to win. I know I'm going to win. This is too strong to pierce through and not have enough power. And who knows, maybe we'll take some heavy tanks from our enemies. That'd be great. Uh, oh, we actually have a full... Almost... We're not creating a full army, but we are creating a nice army to defend against the Soviets if they choose to attack us. Oh, coal liquidization. Very nice. Air innovations, not bad. Synthetic rubber. We don't really need that. Let's go ahead and get Reichsautobahn. Since its inception in 1933, the Reichsautobahn project has been a glorious success. The construction efforts have reduced unemployment, and the wide road stand is a monument to Germany's economic recovery. Much work remains to be done, however. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Now, please, don't suck on my supply so hard I can't do anything. Please. Guys, guys, stop attacking. Wait for my tanks to get in there. What the heck? <laughs> guys. <laughs> no, John. Come on, Netherlands. Romania. Guys. Wait. This is a coordinated effort. <clears throat> We're supposed to be democratic. We're supposed to vote when we will attack. But, but enemies keep doing that. Ooh, Paulus. <clears throat> I never thought I would say Paulus is doing very well. Spending, at least. Alright, is supply really bad? Because I know super heavy tanks aren't very good. Guys, god dang it, stop attacking! Guys, guys, guys! Now, let's take a quick look. This is a tank in the field. That breakthrough is hella nice! Holy crap! Over 500! Only 20 combat with, and you need some more stuff over here. But, but... Piercing is amazing. Defense is pretty good. Soft attack is okay. Hard attack is... It's alright, too. Fuel capacity is a lot, but it uses a whole ton of fuel. Actually, hold on. Before we move on, though, uh, I don't ever see this. They get a fort bonus, too. Attack 150%. This is meant to smash through enemy lines, no matter what. Um, now, I want to try this. We might fail, because we might fail anything, really. So, let's see. Can we lead with the tanks? Yes, yes, yes. Now, we don't have air superiority. That is hurting us, probably, most likely. Oh, please, 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 please. I need more air superiority. Send in that direction. Good. Are we... Can we... Come on. Come on. Oh, we got 57. We started at 53, 54. Good. Keep them at bay. Keep them at bay, guys. Yes, yes, yes. There's only four divisions. Smash their tanks. Oh, they're fal they're faltering. They're faltering. Are the super heavy tanks, are our mice, our mouses, worth it so far? This battle... Yes! We took a tile. We actually took a tile. German engineering has succeeded. Democratic German engineering, I should add. Next up, we shall take Lehar. Losses. Wow. Soviets, you're losing quite a few guys. 
Keep doing that. Um, Germany. 71,000. Not looking good for that. Let our tanks get prepared. Let them get reorganized. You know what? I don't ever do this. I'm gonna make Monstein a field marshal. He's aggressive. Oh, give me that breakthrough, man. Give me that offense. Yes, 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 yes. Better recon. This is the guy you want as a field marshal. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get a little bit more planning as well. I want to make sure that our tanks are supreme. They are the king of the battlefield besides planes. Whatever. Every man a king, but no one wears a crown. Just keep planning that bonus because, honestly, the enemies can't really penetrate our lines. We can't penetrate the enemy's lines. And it's no man's land all over the place. Oh, but I like you. I really like you. Von Bikes? Where did I put Von Bikes? Oh, you're the guy guarding here. Cool. Uh, stop doing that. We're going to need to make a new general. All right. Once these guys are done, I'm going to try another attack. But let's take a quick look. They have five divisions over here, including that same tank from earlier. Can we still do a great job attacking them? God dang it. I was going to pause it. Every time I pause the game... They're attacking. Guys, please. I know. I have tanks here. I want to attack too. I'm one of you guys. Now, go ahead and attack here. Give them as much attack as possible in the early game because we might be able to smash them up faster and harder if we attack them hard and fast enough in the beginning. Alright, so we can pierce them. They can't pierce us, which is good. We're not exactly winning yet. They do have five divisions over here. They probably have air superiority, which isn't ideal. Oh, maybe we can't win. We might be attacking with the infantry. The infantry are faltering. Oh, it's not looking good for this one. Yeah, this is actually pretty darn rough. Oh, the terrain is really bad for us. Let's go ahead and stop attacking. That's okay. What is the terrain like? Is it urban? Ah, uh, it's urban. Yeah, you don't want to fight in urban territories with these tanks. So be it. If I can, I will continue to try to march some other direction. Losses. We need 88%. Guys, 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 stop attacking. <laughs> 88, 89%. What is our stockpile of supplies looking like, like right now? Super heavy tanks, we are out. We need more of those. Ugh. How is the next production of one coming along, though? Look at all these forts. Keep producing more civilian factories. We're going to need them. Uh, it's coming along. It's coming along all right. 92% of the way there. We just need more super heavy tanks. That's all we need. If anything, put you at the bottom. I want two divisions out at a time. Ooh. Okay, another infantry division. Send you right here. Actually, send you right there. No, right there. Really? You guys are part of an entire another theater. Oh, wait. Don't do that. Um, you and you come down here. Common turn. Put you at low for now. Uh, you guys come back and do Kurt Student. Yeah, that'd be good. You don't even need to move. You guys. He looks good enough. There you go. Mm, there you go. Oh, good. What of you bad boys? Come on, France, attack me. This is pathetic of you. I really would love to know how many divisions I have over there. Can I build up more radar? Oh my goodness, how do I not have any radar? I need radar to see what's going on over there. Oh, hello. Glad to meet you. Glad to meet you. That's a, oh, that definitely suffered quite a few casualties. Um, before these guys give up, there's five divisions over here, including a cavalry division. Interesting. We want at least one more big success. I want to let you guys move in first, get the infantry in there too, get these artillery pieces as well. There you go. Can we take at least another tile? Maybe. Maybe. We're getting higher numbers. Paris will soon be a frontline city. Good, good. We're doing well. We're doing very, very well. If at all possible, send the Super Heavy Tank to swing around to take the capital of France. Uh-oh. 
With an upcoming election, people are beginning to question the capability of the current administration to pursue the ongoing war. Germany has suffered greatly and popular opinion has turned against those who seem to be leading our nation to a defeat. We haven't given up any territory. While our people are determined to see the war to the end, they would rather see another government end it. Ending it. Um, let the political landscape shift to keep the people united. Well, I'm still going to have democracy, right? I don't mind getting more political power, stability. I'm actually okay with that then. Yeah, I mean, everyone else, they're pretty weak, so. Come on, take Paris. You can take it with two tank divisions. We can swing into Paris. I know we can. 1942. Let's get some more heart attack and piercing with Panzerfaust Dreisisch. Oh, they keep throwing in more divisions. We have new upgraded cannons for use. Uh, get some of that going too. Oh, they're they're stalking Paris. That's not good. We might not be able to swing into there just yet in time. No, we will not be able to. That's okay. That was a good try, though. That was a very good try. Next up, keep thinking. Keep thinking. Where is a good place to attack? Forests? Probably not. Over here. Over here. Ah. Planes. I welcome the planes. Ah, oh, Munchstein. Do you have anything for us? No, that's okay. Take your time. Heinz. Nothing yet. That's okay as well. Paris is a frontline city, so at least we've gotten close to Paris. This breakthrough over here was really cool to see. Um, you guys, however, are kind of sucking it up. How many divisions they got here? Ten. Reichsautobahn. Very nice. Synthetic rubber, don't need that. Air Innovations 2. Ooh, Ger German war economy. I get six military factories in total, but I could do this and get probably four. And I get a puppet Romania. That's actually kind of nice. Um, I'm going to do Air Innovations 2. So, the tasks of the Reich's Air Ministry, or Germany's, Deutschland's Air Ministry, are of paramount importance. The Luftwaffe must be the most advanced air force in the world. I'm not going to disagree with you there, man. Um, tanks. Italy seeks extensive military pact. Uh, largely military in nature, the Novus Imperium Romanum will, in the words of Benito Mussolini, place Italy at the center of new world power. Well, I'm glad I'm glad I put some uh, guys over here. Because we're going to need a, a little bit of a defense for our Romanian ally. I'm glad I made that infantry. For the love of God, please, Stalin, do not attack. Do not attack. Let these guys get over here. Actually, if anything, I can, might be able to smash Bulgaria fairly easily if I send my tanks. That's not a bad idea. Send them around, take out Hungarian Yugoslavia, open up, widen up the front. Not a bad idea, but let's do this first. They have a couple forts, which is okay for our super heavy tanks. Are you ready? Not yet. If we want a few more days of plan, it's 1942. We won't be home by Christmas. I will let you know that ahead of time right now. Three. Uh, two. Come on, get more bonuses. Come on. Japan. Dang it. Come on, Japan. Why'd you go to war with the Dutch East Indies? I'm not joining that war yet. I cannot afford that. Ooh, but I can afford more infantry. Sorry, guys. I'm not interested. Not really interested. I can't defend against that. Sorry. Not really, but sorry. Not really. Oh, good, good, good. Now, now is the time to attack. Go ahead. On these shell, on these guys. We should easily just smash these enemies. <gasps> Stalin has announced that the cowardly Hungarian nation could no longer stand without the pressure, withstand the pressure from overwhelming presence of Soviet forces throughout the country. The Hungarian government chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. Their main focus forces have capitulated, and the USSR is now in control of their home area. Well, I disagree with that. Uh, though the war against what remains of the Pact of Rome continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for all of Europe, I would say, probably, most likely. Is this a potential time we might be able to rush in there? I want you to be balanced. I don't want mass casualties. But go ahead and attack. This is the time to attack. Take whatever you can from these guys. Good. Oh, the Yugoslavians are back. That's what's up. That's nice. That's kind of nice. Are you guys winning, actually, over here? No? Yes? You're beating the French in Austria, maybe? Maybe? Please say so. 
Um, tanks, 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 tanks. What are you guys up to? Is this another plane? No, this is force. Is this planes? Can I have more planes, please? Not like... Well, I would like more planes that go... we in the sky, but... Ugh. Might be able to smash this area, too. Even if it is a forest, that might be possible. It's probably one more tile here. God dang it, Soviets. The Soviets are going to lose this. Yeah, no, I'm not joining in the war against Japan yet. The Soviets are definitely going to lose this area. I'm fairly positive that they will. But, uh... Actually, this ain't bad. Go ahead, if you can, enter Bulgaria. We're doing well against Austria. You know what? You know what might be kind of cool? You know, it's a democratic Germany. Uh, there's still quite a bit of sentiment between the Austrians and Germans. We might want an, an alliance, an integration of German culture, some might say. So, we'll see. We will hold a democratic vote to see if Austria and her people would like to join the Bundesrepublik. I think that would be fair. I think that would be very fair. Let us have a democratic vote to assess whether they shall join or not. I think that is the most wise thing to do. Actually, grammatically, it would be the wisest thing to do. And I don't think we can really take this tile. Quite unfortunate, even though we're kind of beating them up. They're beating up my infantry quite a bit, which really sucks. Guys, why? You get so much potential. So much potential. We still have a good stockpile of heavy tanks, though. That's actually really good. Mm. Oh, we lost that. That's not bueno, guys. How do we lose this? That makes no sense. Yeah, no. Yeah, you're all going to attack this direction right now. I refuse to lose this. I will not lose this. Keep the tanks going. I don't care what happens. No, I earn this spot. Oh, you're going to attack me? You're going to attack me? You're finally attacking me? That was fast, Bulgaria. Holy cow. Oh, that's a thick Romania. Oh, well. If you got the bulge for it, I guess. Yeah, the challenge are mopping up, which is what we kind of expected. If we can capitulate the Austrians... Oh, they are attacking us a little bit everywhere. Henrici? No, you got nothing there. Alright, so be it, so be it. Yeah, their, their organization's crap. Attack immediately. Um, they've actually attacked us back over here, which isn't ideal. And that's okay. Well, it looks like the French are definitely on the offensive now. Which isn't a bad thing at all. Um, don't want to tell you to move, but go ahead and move. At least we got this tile area back. Anything, I want to keep moving you this direction as well. There's forests, and there's forests. So uh, we're surrounded by forests. Yes, Austria has capitulated. We've gotten their stockpile of stuff. We have advanced computing machine, but that's all the time for that we have today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I did, and it looks like I might just have to make a few heavy tanks at the moment, which really sucks, but whatever. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue the offensive against the Pact of Rome. We have capitulated Hungary, Bulgaria, Austria. We've broken into northern France. We're on the path to success. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.